All right, people, we back at it. I got the jack out. I got my car here. Move the cord over there. I'm gonna get into this. Doing some suspension work. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what's involved here. Get these wheels off. front bushing it's all tore up we got the new arms it's already got pre bushings pressed in all the other thing so to get this all apart uh, got the bolt back there right back there that one and then the front ball right there so get that all off get these little arms changed Go from there. All right, people, here's a closer look. You see, uh, it's all torn. It's been clump, clunk, clunking under acceleration. So, here's the new arm with the new bushing already installed. The new ball joint as well. So, we're gonna get these swapped out for that one. Stay tuned, people. Get this ball out here, comes out that way. Like I said, that one's back there, but I gotta get the sway bar link off here, that's this one. And then undo the, the ball joint there. And get these both these sides done. And we'll continue on. We got the coilovers, axe speeding rods. You know what I'm saying? So get those in installed as well. It's one thing at a time right now. Get these push these arms done. Okay, people, so on the sway bar, it's a little Allen spot, so you put the Allen wrench there. See, I got it there up against the arm. Use my gear wrench. Just loosen it up, take it off. Continue on. All right, people, so you see, I got the sway bar link undone. And now, I removed the cutter pin, and I got the nut loose. With the ball joint, I'm gonna hit it right here. To get this to pop, I removed the one back there. This one's still in place. This one will take out last. Remove the arm. We'll get back when we got it all apart. All right, people, getting it up in there. Got this one started. Got that bolt there started as well. That's gonna get the ball joint up on the axle. I loosened up the two bolts here for the strut. So I can lift it up because this this one's coming out. These are all stock height. We got the max speeding rods going in here in place. We got the new arm in. Leaving everything loose until we get it all set on the ground and tighten everything up. But get that in there more. But stay tuned, people. All right, people. You see, you remove that little cover and it allows you to access the bolts. It's my ratchet. And there's the three bolts for the top of the strut. You see it's right there. So stay tuned people. Get that undone. 
Get the other. Here's the max feeding rods kit for the 8th gen that Kevin got. Pull one out the bag, the, the big one. No, that's the rear. Yeah, pull one of those out the bag. Does it say left or right on it? I have no idea, but I'll pull it out. Alright. Let me see the top. Yeah, I got the adjustable top hat with dampening. Really nice. Spin it around the other way so we can read the label. No, no, the other way. The top part. Put the label on it? Yeah, right there. Right there, you see it, people? Max Peating Rods. Get this on the 8 gen. I have to adjust it up. All right, set it down here on the pizza box. It's left side, so this is what you need? No, I need right side. All right. Yeah, check the labels, people. There's a right and left. Kevin's going to get that out. I'll get this one out. Like I said, I already got these two bolts undone. Got the three on top undone. You saw me. I showed you a little access point. Get this out. Support this up right now. Make right, sure so you got the lower arm in. Continue from here, people. This apple works. Driveway builds. People, so you see, I got that bolt started. Like I said, I got that one started. Got the lower ball joint in. And got the strut out. You see the three bolts up there and the two here. So right now, got the original. Yeah. Get this adjusted up. Get that in. See how it looks. Yeah. Let me get the nut on there too to hold that. Because I'm trying not to let it pull out of the CV boot. You know, it's all still in there, so. And I also had to undo the the line here from the brake line from the strut itself. It was bolted on too. All right, get the sway bar up in there too. You can see the link is there. It's got to lift into the place. Driveway builds. All right, people, we got the max beating rod, coil over installed. The three nuts on top are loose. I got these two, they're loose as well. You can see it moving. I got the jack right there on the arm. I already put the sway bar link in. I got this snugged up too, it's a little loose. But right now I'm gonna have Kevin cut the wheel back straight. Go ahead, turn it. The other way. All right, but you see it though, looking good, people. Everything just started. All right, here we go. All right, cut it. A little bit more. All right, stop. All right. I still gotta adjust everything and tighten everything up, but it's sitting in place right now. That's good. It's really good. All right, I'm gonna snag everything up while it's got pressure on it. Stay tuned, people, more to come. Okay, people, I just wanted to show you guys here on the Max Peating Rods, the just a cam plate. You see the screws in the center, the threaded part. We gotta take the screws and put them in that spot because they won't fit inside of the hole. You gotta use the the four inner ones. Just let you guys know. Stay tuned for more people. Except it works. Alright, now we're on the other side, people. So I'm gonna get this side all installed with the max feeding rod coil over. Like I said, I had to adjust the things on it. It's all ready to go. So let's get it up in there. One, two, three, boom! All right, there we go. It's on, people. It is on. Arm two, you see it? The lower bottle joint, all cotter pinned up. Looking good. Max speeding rods. See the upper adjuster? He's gonna vacuum that out in there and clean that up. But you see that set up? Yeah. 
More to come on the SI, people. More to come. All right, people. So now I got the wheel off. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna remove this bolt right there, and the one for the shock as well. And we gotta press this down and get that spring out very carefully. So we get to that. I'll show you the process. Builds. Builds. See how it is before. There it is after. Woo. Stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. Okay, I cut a opening in the plastic cover because it keeps spinning the shaft so we can undo the nut on top. It's one single nut. Then you come down here. You got the one right there. Take that one out. Now undo this one. I'm gonna get this one out and then I'll show you how I got the spring out. Alright, so I got that bolt out of here, got that undone, and now you can see it's got tension from the sway bar link. But you can't go take a screwdriver, put it right here, pry while pushing down on this, and it pops right out. Let me get it out. Alright, he's using the gear wrench up top, getting this out. Rice grips holding the shaft. I'm spinning. Pause on the shaft. <laughs> oh, this shock was blown out. See how it's all wet. So, I do. All right, two hours later, I'll show you this screwdriver there. I'm gonna push down here and pop it right out. And he's gonna be done with this. All right, so that's out. Like I said, let me get this out. Got the new stuff here, ready to go. Stay tuned. I got it started there, so yeah, I just, Go and you pry it out. And that's it. That's out. I get this rubber piece out. The new max speeding rods brings all the parts. See the rubber got the one step, the other one's smooth. This is the bottom, this is the top. And then this goes here on that for that so. That just pushes on to the piece there. There you go. That's got the recess right there for that. It all goes up into it when it gets compressed up. And then the spring goes on. Oh, wait. Before I put the spring on, put the rubber. Right, it's a little hard to do this one-handed, but I gotta push down on this and get that up in there. Ready, one, two, and three. All right, there it is. It's on. And watch, you'll see when I jack it up, it'll push right up into that so I can bolt this together. But I gotta get this on first. Oh, you see it. Both sides are in. Most speeding rods. Max speeding rods. Not sponsored. We would like to be. There it goes, people. A little dirty right now, but 
that's the stance we're looking at right now man that's a big difference man now we still got to adjust the coilovers up for the dampening how stiffness they are you know but this is the ride height right now and we still gotta get alignment done so got all the stuff over there all the old parts but that, that's looking really good and watch soon we're gonna be doing the wheels we got a set of brakes too as well cross your rotors all the way around and do the calipers up real nice Definitely got to get alignment, people. But she is looking good. The SI 8 Gen. I'm liking the stance in the back. That's the 8 gen people. Looking good. More to come. Stay tuned. Supple works. Bonus. Kevin splurged and got some new wheels to him. Look like they say. I ain't gonna try to pronounce that, but you see what it says right there. Something racing. You see that though. You see, we always racing. We ain't commuting here. These ain't commuter cars. These are racing cars. All right. So we'll see the transformation with the new wheels. Look pretty good, Kevin, right? Yeah. Cost me about like thousand. Two thousand. That's it. That's people you see the camera adjusters so get this little rubber cap off you see the right there's a little knob to adjust the dampening and we got the camera set at zero so right now we're setting a little bit positive camber right now it's jacked up so uh, Got the pressure off, so I'm gonna adjust this up real quick and see how it looks. People, what do you think? I think the A Gen is coming out fire. The Ace SI, whoo! Oh my goodness.